Alrighty then, what's going on everybody? Um, so here is the video on the Connect version 2.0 bubble pop game. Um, and we're gonna convert this to a Christmas game because we have a non-profit event to go to for children with special needs and we wanna make a cool interactive game um, that can reach a lot of kids and it can be really fun and it's very festive uh, for the holiday season. So exciting time of the year. Um, we're gonna learn uh, just some maybe very very basic on Unity in this, um, and everything that's required to do this, you're gonna need to connect version two, um, and I'll put a link on the screen and in the description below on where to get one of these. I got mine used on eBay, pretty cheap. I would recommend doing that as well. Um, and there's also an adapter you need to buy. I got mine on Amazon. I'll put that in the in the screen as well. Um, you'll need an adapter to start it up with your PC. And then um, there are some plugins that work with Unity where you can use the Connect version 2.0 sensor um, with the Unity um, console. And so, you know, what is a Connect? It's basically a fancy camera um, that was used with the Xbox. There's two versions, the Connect 1 and the Connect 2. And there's even a, a new Connect. I think it's like a, a Azure camera, Azure Connect. Um, I'll put a link in the description as well. That's the newest camera. I think it's mostly for developers and it's somewhat expensive. Um, I got my Connect here used for like less than $30. So uh, very inexpensive. It can do 3D scanning. It does video, has a LiDAR uh, sensor on there, kind of like your uh, newer iPhones. Um, so it does uh, 3D scanning, which is pretty cool. Um, overall, very fun gadget to have, especially if you're into, you know, game creation, uh, 3D printing, 3D modeling, etc. So, um, I digress. Let's get into the bubble game. So, if you Google Connect Bubble Game, you can find it in different places on the internet. I put it on my GitHub. I'll put a link in the description and on the screen, um, and we can get that bu bubble pop game. Um, so this is an example. So I'm going to download this zip file on my desktop. If you don't have Unity, you will want to download it. It is a game development platform. Um, you can make VR games, uh, 2D games, 3D games, you name it. I don't know what Unity can't do. It's uh, pretty nuts. Um, if you go to pl plans and pricing, um, Pro is somewhat expensive, Plus is somewhat expensive. Um, there is a student version and a free version. The personal is free. Um, it has everything you need to build games, which is awesome. So Unity is awesome for that. All you have to do is uh, set up an account and you're good to go. Um, all right, so here's our zip file with the bubble game in it. It's about 84 megs. So I will get that on the desktop now. Okay, so we're in the Unity Hub and you're gonna see your projects in the Unity Hub. Um, and what you wanna do is you wanna hit this little arrow next to open. You're gonna add a project from disk. I left my Bubble Pop game on my desktop um, just so I can get to it. Um, so here it is. I'm gonna show that folder, add project, and it's gonna show me that game in the Unity Hub browser. I can also see that I am logged in with my Unity account um, and there's all kinds of cool stuff here. You can view your downloads, the different versions of Unity you have installed. You can also do a lot of learning on the Unity platform which is amazing. Um, and what you want to do is just click on this. It's going to open the Bubble Pop game in Unity. All right, so here we are in the Bubble Pop game. Um, so quick overview of Unity. If you've used Blender, it's somewhat similar, right? It's 3D space, it's all the same. Um, if you hold the right mouse button and pan around in your uh, 3D viewport, um, you can kind of look around. You can use a scroll wheel to scroll in and out. You can hold the scroll wheel to kind of pan around. You can uh, select things. Um, and you'll see what's in your 3D scene um, over here in the left here. Um, you can see that there's the camera, there's your background, right? 
and the bubble manager. So there's different assets that's in here. And then um, part of this package, um, this game package, uh, there are materials, plugins, scripts. It's all in this assets uh, browser down here on the bottom. And we can pull these assets into this 3D space, into this game, um, and then we can run and test it by clicking play and pause up here. So it's as simple as that. So this game is already made, has all of the stuff in the scene, which is called main scene. Um, and if I just hit play and I have my connect here, I'm gonna hit play and then I'm gonna be able to play the game. So let's do that now and I'll set that up and get it going. I'm gonna hit the play button. And we'll see the bubble game start. I see my connect is kind of glowing red, so it's ready to find my hands. And I can just wave my hands in the air, like I just don't care, and pop some bubbles. So this is really fun, entertaining, interactive. I can get my other hand in there, pop more bubbles. You know, I can actually just sit in my chair, which is pretty nice. I don't have to stand to do this. Um, so. If you're in a chair sitting down, you can also do this. So here I am waving, hitting bubbles. Um, and so what I want to do here with this game is I want to change the bubbles to snowflakes and make this more festive, maybe add some Christmas music and stuff like that. So if we go to assets, usually um, things are organized pretty well in game asset folders. Um, I can see that Textures are going to be in the textures folders, materials in the materials folders. The main scene that's loaded here is here, holds all of that stuff that plays the game. Um, there's plugins, prefabs, usually have prefab stuff. So we're probably going to see the bubble in the hand with those load. So that's the image of the hand that we see in the game. There's the bubble that we see in the game. And when I click on that bubble, I can see that there's a script associated with it. Um, and I see the sprite renderer and some texture stuff. And I do see that the sprite that's being used right now is the bubble sprite. So if I click on the bubble sprite, it's gonna take me to the asset folders, the textures folder. I'm gonna see that bubble sprite, that texture um, that is associated with the bubble. I'm gonna see the hand texture and I'm gonna see that little pop texture. So when you move your hand around, you touch the bubble, it makes changes that image basically. So you're just changing the image. So the first thing I, I want to do is find a good, PNG image of a snowflake, something small, something easy, piece of cake, and we're just gonna pull that in to the assets here. Okay, I'm gonna go to tools, I'm gonna go to size, I'm gonna go to icon size. Um, I'm gonna look around for something cool here. This one looks pretty cool. This one looks fun. I'm gonna get this image and put that in there. Also gonna want the logo PNG right there. Okay, so I have my snowflake images. I'm gonna pull them in. All I do is click and drag that icon in there and you'll see that it just pops up in the textures folder. Gotta do the same thing with my adapt play picture. Just pops up in the textures folder. Um, if I click on this image, I'm gonna see the texture type. It says default. I want to change that to a sprite. Um, and once I do that, I'm gonna click out of there. It's gonna say, hey, do you want to apply these import settings for this PNG? We're gonna make it a sprite in the Unity world. We're gonna say, yeah, do it. Um, and now that's a sprite. And now I can replace the bubble sprite with a snowflake sprite. So let's go to assets. Let's go back to that prefabs. I'm gonna see that bubble here. I am going to say, um, not the script, but the sprite here. I'm gonna click on that sprite where it says bubble. I am going to click and drag this right there, change it to a snowflake. 
And now when I hit the play button and I test it. Awesome. <laughs> I'm going to start seeing snowflakes. This looks good. Hit play to stop it. Um, so let's figure out what that background's about. Um, so I'm going to expand this, this background. I'm going to look at this plane. I'm going to look at the background component as well. And move my camera a little, a little bit. Look at main camera. Okay, so there's that color coming in, that teal color. I'm gonna change that color. Um, don't wanna use the dropper. I just wanna click on that color. Um, I'm gonna try red. I'm gonna go for red. Something Christmassy. Yeah, Christmas red. I'm gonna see how that looks. I'm gonna hit play. That's looking pretty good. I like that Christmas red. I like the blue snowflakes. That's pretty cool. Um, would possibly like to put the Adapt to Play logo in the top right. So that would be cool. I'm gonna hit pause here so we can take a look at what's going on, how this game works. Um, if you look at my main camera, you'll see the camera is just looking upon these snowflakes, right? So here is the game screen. It's like, this is what we see, right? So we just see this rectangle and then we're waving our arms around and it's it's basically just moving and popping bubbles. So that's what we see. Um, and so maybe I can just put like a little asset, a little adapter play logo, like right in the field of view of this camera. Um, so it's out of the way of the snowflakes. And then we can have the um, logo in there as well. So let's try that. So if I'm on the adapt to play photo I brought in, the PNG, if I just change the texture type to sprite, I can just drag and drop it into the scene. And I'm gonna move it to the top right. And I'm gonna see how that looks in the game. I'm gonna do a half size. I'm gonna change the scale to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Play again. All right, I think that'll do it. So I'm gonna save this game. Then I'm gonna go find some Christmas music. So let's go to right click in the Unity object, create empty, prism music. We're going to add component audio source and we are going to find some Christmas music. Three hours later. All right, so I ripped some music from the internet. I uh, got a cool Santa PNG to add as a sprite um, to this as well. Um, and then I decided to pivot on the background color from red to blue and change the snowflakes as well, just so it's easier to see for the kids. So change the background color, and now I'm just testing the Christmas music. Looks good. I'm going to drag and drop it to the music um, object in the game. So it's gonna play the Christmas music. I wanna make sure that that loop is checked so it just plays it over and over again. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Sweet. I don't That's some festive music. Snow, some snowflakes. Let's see. Cheer. Get the hands out. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Right. And when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know. So if you go to File and Save It, and then go File Build Settings. Um, you're going to see that this is a build for PC, Windows, and the architecture. Um, if you go to add open scenes, you're going to add the main scene, and then go to player settings, and you can add details for your game. So you can change the name of the project, uh, your company name, you can add a splash image, icon, etc. So all those settings are done here. So I added a cool Santa icon from Google Images for my game. 
Um, I thought that would be cool. Made sure that, you know, the Adaptive Play name was there. Um, the project name, I named it a Christmas game. And then all you have to do is click on build once all your settings are in there. And of course, make sure that your scene is added under the open scenes as well. So now I'm going to go back to build settings, make sure everything's right. My main scene is added. I need to make sure that's done. I'm going to hit build and tell Unity where to store and save the game. Um, after it's done, we're going to see the game. It's finished. It's going to have that cool Santa icon. It's going to be very Christmassy. So I'm going to run that executable. Make sure everything's working okay and test it out. And there you have it, an awesome have Connect 2 Christmassy bubble pop game where you can pop year. snowflakes. Easy to do, no coding required. Um, some more advanced features that you could do with this is go into the C scripts and change some things around. Maybe add sound effects whenever you pop the snowflakes, etc. Um, and I may do that going forward. But for now, for this initial video, this is the basics of how to modify something in Unity. And just wanted to share what I did for this nonprofit event. Thanks for watching. Kiss a 